Jonathan Gruber, if that story would have kept getting bigger, was the type of thing that could bring down the current agenda. Him laughing to a bunch of academics and them nodding their sickening cult heads and their gang about how to lie to the public and how he helped fix the numbers that it massively increased prices, but he helped cover it up. And then Obama thanking him in, in speeches and others thanking him and then him saying, oh, I actually didn't work for Obama and Obama saying he didn't know who he was. We're going to play some of these clips to remind folks because it's back on the news. We should push Gruber back out there. The dishonorable, rat-like, little, sniveling, dishonorable piece of crap who thinks it's funny to raise old people and poor people's prices. <laughs> Just That makes me cringe. Email show MIT's Jonathan Gruber had even more to do with Obamacare's passage than previously thought. And then it goes through the fact that the Wall Street Journal and others report that they've now got the email showing that he was one of the main engineers of it and was basically thanked as being one of the top guys, which we already knew. But it just triples the lie. Yeah, I ran the whole thing. They hired me to help lie. Obama, we love you. We thank you, Gruber. Obama, I don't know him, never knew him. Gruber, I don't know Obama. Now we have emails showing they did. I mean, they're liars any way you slice it. They're hardcore crooks that sit around with a bunch of other scum academics laughing and screwing people. I mean, yeah. Let's go ahead and go to the famous Gruber clip. Here it is. It's just, you can't do it politically. You just literally cannot do it. Okay, transparent financing, and let's have transparent financing, also transparent spending. I mean, the, this bill was written in a tortured way to make sure CBO did not score the mandate as taxes. If CBO scored the mandate as taxes, the bill dies. Okay, so it's written to do that. In terms of, in terms of risk rated subsidies, if you had a law which said healthy people are going to pay in, it made explicit that healthy people pay in and sick people get money, it would not have passed. Okay, just like the people, transparent, lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really, really critical to getting the thing to pass. And, you know, it's the second best argument. Look, I wish Mark was right. We can make it all, all right, transparent. But I'd rather have this law than not. I'd rather have this law to keep it secret. Just like they're keeping TPP secret, lack of political transparency, tyranny, dictatorship. And they all sit around because they're wearing suits and talking in nerd vices like it's okay to rip people off, you crook. There's a few people I'd like to slap upside the head, but I tell you, he's one of them. If we were going to have socialist health care, that'd be bad enough. This is a diabolical screw job by the insurance companies. That because it's liberal, uh, it's okay. Let's go to Gruber saying Obama was in the room. Here it is. Thing that's real cost control that we know it'll work, go after this. Now, the problem is it's a political nightmare. And people say, no, you can't tax my benefits. It feels like. So what we did a lot in that room was think about, well, how could, talk about, well, how could we make this work? And Obama's like, well, you know, I mean, he's really a realistic guy. He's like, look, I can't just do this. He said, it's just not going to happen politically. The bill will not pass. How do we manage to get there through phase-ins and other things? And we talked about it. Um, and he was just very interested in that topic. And once again, that ultimately became the genesis of what's called the Cadillac tax in the health care bill, which I think is one of the most important and bravest parts of the health care law. That's yeah, brave to lie. And um, doesn't get nearly enough credit. Yep, in your face. Now let's go to Obama saying he didn't know Gruber. Here it is. I do inspire young leaders by saying governments need to be held accountable and be responsive to the people. I wonder how you square that with your former advisor, uh, Jonathan Gruber, claiming you were not transparent about the health law. Because in his words, the American people, the voters, are stupid. Did you mislead Americans about the taxes, about keeping your plan, in order to get the bill passed? No, I, I did not. Lot uh, again. I, I just heard about this. Yeah, I, I get well briefed uh, before I come out here. Uh, the, the fact that some advisor who never worked on our staff uh, expressed an opinion that uh, I completely disagree with, uh, in terms of the voters, is no reflection on the actual process that was run. We had a... Oh, that's good. Let's go to now one. him thanking Gruber with Gruber in the room. Uh, here is Obama uh, a year before. Uh, you've already drawn some of the brightest minds from uh, academia and policy circles. Uh, many of them I've stolen ideas from liberally. Uh, people ranging from Robert Gordon to Austin Goolsby. John Gruber, uh, my dear friend Jim Wallace here, uh, who can talk, I think, 
uh, who can inform uh, what are sometimes dry policy debates with uh, a prophetic voice. All right. And now we have the emails that he was absolutely one of the main architects. Of course he was. And he's out there lecturing other academics on how to deceive people. I mean, the guy needs to be indicted for fraud. But the blackmailed Supreme Court continues to uphold Obamacare, which is the most ridiculously criminal, unconstitutional joke. I mean, on its face, you can't give thousands of companies waivers to not be part of it, and everyone else has to be part of it. That's called discrimination. Then you've got all the other facets to it. I mean, you know, foreign insurance companies' profits are up 47% two years into this, globally off-screwing us. I mean, Obamacare is a royal, royal fraud. And notice it isn't repealed because the bipartisan scum won it. People like Boehner.